am not going to be complaining about that. She gets a clean getaway already. A second between herself and Pommel's behind. Camilo Quintero in P3. Loses a position to Pommel, who is on the inside going into turn one. It's too wide behind them. Eastman, De Velez, and Roger Keller battling it out for P4. Jaden Harrison managing to keep his nose clean as Quintero was unable to do there. We see him dropping down the order. Um, I think that would have been at the top of the hill. Harrison following suit but manages to keep it going as he tries to rejoin in a safe manner. And as I see Eaton there moving from 12 to 10th, it's all happening here on the first lap of the second race of the night. Stephen Pommels is trying to make that move on Raven Plummer for the lead there side by side neck and neck into the heavy braking zone. Pommels on the outside, Raven on the inside, the inside turns to the outside for Plummer but they are still side by side, she's slightly ahead. But Pommel will have a shorter line to the line and it's going to be still side by side Raven giving a very wide berth there. Not going to risk it, um, any collision between herself and Pommels who is trying his best to get past. But Raven Plummer, excellent defense. Through the first corner which is not the usual method of getting through that corner but maybe just trying to keep out of the back of Stephen Pommels who might have been a little slow there but that opens her up to attack from Estefano Barrera and will he be looking to make the move as Raven runs wide there and might have just opened the door oh my goodness and make some contact and opens the door for all three Colombians and now Stephen Pommels the lone Jamaican out in front with three Colombian sharks right behind him waiting to swallow him up and uh, we will see how long he can manage to hold on to the lead of this race with the wolf pack behind him. Uh, he will be under threat if any there, moment now. <laughs> if there's one thing I can say, Chad, there is definitely no um, team orders between the brother and sister team for the JSRA. Uh, Steven Pommels and Raven Plummer both driving for JSRA, but I think teams A and B. And you would think that they would work together like the Colombians did, but not at all. That very little squabbling, that fighting they did throughout the first and second lap allowed these three rapid Colombians to catch right up. I know Pommel's already losing out the top spot to Barrera, who takes it from him in the final corner down the start finish straight. And now he's going to, well, Pommel's I know is going to try and get it back, but I think... Um, oh, break himself there and causes now I think all three Colombians will get through and Pommels went from second to fourth position in a matter of a few corners blistering out here this and evening. Plummer and Pommels are back at it again <laughs> they are now in, it seems as though they're inseparable um, glued magnetically I think is how you put it Chad but Raven Plummer finally gets that position um, back from Stephen Pommels she didn't retake first it's for fourth unfortunately for her but now she has her sights on the three Colombians ahead of her who almost seem to be moving in formation chat they're just they they're are chopping cutting and dicing the field goodness. and find themselves back in P1, 2 and 3 here around oh, Road Atlanta they're, they're certainly showing that they are a force to be reckoned with she thinks might suit her better is being ahead of one Mark Anthony Eaton as there is less than two tenths of a second separating them and they are side by side heading into the heavy braking zone at the final chicane she is on the inside gets some move done before the second part of the chicane but Eaton gets on the inside and the two are still neck and neck going through the final corner here uh, side by side through the final corner Raven on the outside should have questionably the better line into the first corner and who is gonna give way here mark does not back out at all and actually i think raven they're deciding that it's too much of a risk to try and hang it out around the outside and backs off just a little bit uh the, the top three drivers now going through sector one with three minutes on the clock for a, a roughly minute 20 lap so um we may get another three or four laps of racing action so she has very limited time in which to get it done, but gets it very wrong there on the that in the space of about three corners. Uh, Vince maybe running out of tires and Raven pushing, 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 and never giving up. She has a couple more corners to see if she can get something done, and this might be a show of the differences of 
um, setups because she is gaining on the straight and she's not even that close to pick up the slipstream so definitely running a little bit lower um, down force than the driver ahead of her we see Eastman there losing out a position to Roger Keller ahead perhaps just a, a bit of a mistake there that's one less point for JSRA team B but Estefano Barrera he lost out on the victory in the first race and from the back finds himself on the top step his countryman Luis Daniel Velez finishes P2 13 seconds adrift Barrera was no slouch this race at all Mark Anthony Eaton picking up that final podium spot comes across the line in P3 Rahe Robinson in P4 followed by Stephen Pommels Vince Da Silva does keep that position over Raven Plummer finishing in P6 Plummer in 7th Roger Keller comes across the line in P8 Kimani Eastman in 9th McName finishes in 10th Camilo Quintero in P11 and the final points paying position P12 it's half points but I don't think Sato is going to